Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Bapi and in the previous videos we finished with the practical part means we created the function module then we created the business object and we took our own customized requirement that we will migrate the employee data using Bapi with IDOC interface and we finished with the BAPI part means we created the function module and then we created the business object of the function module. Now this is our own customized requirement we took. We took our own customized requirement. Now suppose we have so many SAP business process also. Suppose sales order, material, yes, billing. These all are SAP business process. But we need to compare that whatever we did is matching with the SAP business process or not. SAP provided so many BAPIs for material, sales order, billing. Now what we will do, we will simply compare that what we did is matching with the SAP business process or not. We will take the example and we will match because sometimes in the project, there is no need for customization. If the requirement is not fulfilled, then we are going for customization. But you must have real understanding that what SAP did, we did the same to same thing. So what we will do? We will compare both the things. So firstly, I will go to SC37 transaction code. I will open two sessions of SC37. In one session, we will open our function module which we created. And in one session, I will suppose take the example of sales order. Okay, I will open the function module of sales order creation. And we will compare full flash end to end. So to create a sales order, this is the function module. BAPI sales order create from DAT2. We will compare now. Is our function module starting with the BAPI keyword? Yes. Is SAP function module also starting with the BAPI keyword? Yes. Underscore business object name underscore method name underscore business object name underscore method name okay now we will display our function module is all parameters type starting with BAPI keyword yes we will see now SAP function module is all parameters type Starting with BAPI keyword. Yes, all parameters type starting with BAPI keyword. Is all parameters are passed by value in our function module? Yes. Is in SAP also? Yes. Is in SAP also? Yes. Now, is our function module has a return parameter? Yes. Is SAP function module also has a return parameter? Yes. Is our function module is RFC enabled? Yes. Is SAP function module also RFC enabled? Yes. Is our function module is released? Yes. Is SAP function module also released? Yes. So whatever we did, is simply simply matching what SAP also did. Now can we jump on to next part? Now we will compare business object. Whatever we did and whatever SAP did for this function module in terms of business object is matching or not matching. So this is the business object name external identification of business object. This is the business object name, business object name. So firstly, we will check in BAPI transaction code. Then we will reverse track on to SW01. So I will go for two sessions of BAPI. In one session, 
we will open our business object and in other session i will open sap business object so we have two sessions of bapi suppose in first session i will go for our business object our business object is employee this double click this is external identification this is internal identification both are different name employee z employee now we will see sap what is the name of sap business object sales order we will see do we have sales order yes we have sales order this predict from here itself sales order sales order business object name is this and this both are different yes this is external identification this is internal identification so it, it is very easy if someone asks you to just navigate so this is the way how you can reach up to the up to the solution itself suppose i am expanding sap business object do we have a method create from dat2 yes just see do we have a method create from dat2 this is method name yes if i will check our function module uh, what is our method name create is this our method name create yes this is our method name if i will double click method business object and this is the function module how this business object map with the function module through the method when we created in sw01 just see here itself if i will show you sap1 this is create from dat2 this is the function module just now we check this is our business object this is our function module how sap binded these two things through the method which sap created in sw01 transaction code now can we go on to sw01 now we will go to sw01 and compare is both things are matching or not so i will click on to this business object this is external identification this is internal identification if we will see our one this is external identification this is internal identification now i will open two sessions of sw01 so that you can simply simply relate i will go to sw01 in one session we will open our one this is our one internal identification said employee now in another session i will go for sap1 i will open another session of sw01 and we will pass sap1 this is external identification what is the internal identification this is the internal identification so we will pass in sw01 sw01 i think system is slow we will wait yes it opened now we will pass this so this is just a way if someone ask you to check this is the um, this is the external business object external identification of business object how i can go for internal so this is just a backtrack now i will display this is sap1 now i will display our ones also so this is your internal identification this is your internal identification just double click this is internal this is external if i will double click this is internal this is external is this released yes you can see this is released i will now go to components components level we created a method create if i will double click you can see this is the function module which is binded now just see here itself if i will expand the components means methods i will expand you can see we have the component same to same 
बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्ट डॉट मैथड वट इज द मैथड क्रिएट फ्रॉम डी एटी टू विल गो फॉर दिस बिकॉज वी आर रेफरिंग दिस इफ आई विल डबल क्लिक इज दिस द सेम टू सेम फंक्शन मॉड्यूल बाइंडेड यस एंड यू कैन सी द स्टेटस इज रिलीज रिलीज इट इज इन ग्रीन कलर नाउ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट विच वी डिस्कस प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो इफ यू सी we why we have status at both the levels at that time i told you suppose we have 10 function modules we created the method for the 10 function module but each and everything we are not releasing some things are for internal use some things we do not want to access by external system so we will only release those things which needs to be accessed by the external system so you can see we have so many things in green color red color some things are not released it means those who are not released cannot be accessed by the external system and this is create from dat2 yes it is released also it means it will be accessed by the external system because just see in one business object we can map any number of function modules we are creating separate separate methods so what we studied in this particular video that if someone ask you that this is the function module that how you can check the business object of that function module how you can check in bapi transaction code how you can check in sw oven or if someone ask you to create your own bapi that process we already covered so in this video we compare both the things what we are doing based upon our requirement and what sap did for one of its process is matching or not so that's it in this particular video thank you